find a so that the function is continuous. So this is a piecewise function, and the first piece is 4 sine x over x for x less than 0. So that will be continuous for x less than 0. Likewise, the bottom piece, a minus 2x, this is just a straight line, and it's certainly continuous for x greater than or equal to 0. So the only possible issue is, is there a discontinuity at x equals 0? So we have to make the function continuous at x equals 0. Recall that the definition of continuity is that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to f of c. This is what it means for a function to be continuous at c. There's two more conditions, but this condition here alone implies the other two. So what does this mean? Well, it means that the limit exists. So in this case, that would mean that the limit from the left exists and the limit from the right exists. So whenever you have a problem like this and you have like less thans and greater thans, start by looking at one-sided limits and make them equal. So the limit from the left, so if we're approaching zero from the left, we're gonna use the top piece because that means x is less than zero. So we have four sine x over x. And this is a special limit from calculus, right? Sine x over x approaches one when x approaches zero. So this is 4 times 1, and that's equal to 4. If we take the limit from the right, so limit as x approaches 0 from the right, this would mean that x is bigger than 0. So we would use the bottom piece. So a minus 2x. And then at this point, we can just evaluate this at 0, right? We can plug in the number. So it's a minus 2 times 0 which is a minus 0, which is just a. So again, we want this function to be continuous at 0. So in order to do that, we want the left and the right limit, so the limit from the left and the limit from the right, to exist and be equal. Therefore, that means that these numbers must be equal. So a is equal to 4. And that's what the question wanted, right? It wanted us to find a so that the function is continuous. So whenever you have these problems and you have like uh, less thans or greater thans, just always take the one-sided limits and set them equal. That will force continuity in these problems. That's it.